play hard, grind hard, stay hard, no, we stay out, make your way out, but I just can't stop, won't stop hustling. Grand is a grand, that's great as the salutations. I go by the name of the Black Abstract. If you're new to the channel, uh, you know the drill. What I'm gonna say, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. We gotta talk about it. Uh, the Oscars, uh, the what well, Academy has issued a punishment uh, for Will Smith after much deliberation. Uh, no, you say how I said <laughs> deliberation, like there was a like they was in a courtroom. Uh, but this is what it says: uh, Academy board bans Will Smith from attending the Oscars for ten years. Uh, he can't go to the Oscars for ten years. That's a long time, it seems like in Oscar, uh, in Oscar land. Um, you know, you can't be around your peers. Uh, you can't celebrate these victories that you probably. Uh, you, we don't know what Will Smith has in the can uh, in terms of acting wise. You know, uh, does he go on to do movies that are Oscar bait? We don't know. Um, but this is well. This is what it says. I'm gonna go to. Uh, Fox News, I uh, know that's taboo, first thing that popped up, uh, says Will Smith is not allowed to attend the Oscars or any Academy events for 10 years, so no parties and no after parties, none of that good stuff. Uh, in a letter, the Board of Governors stated the 94th Oscars were meant to be a celebration of the many individuals in our community who did incredible work this past year. Uh, come on, Fox, with these ads. Um... And however, these moments were overshadowed by the unacceptable and harmful behavior we saw Mr. Smith exhibit on stage. During our telecast, we did not adequately address the situation. I hope I said that correctly. I know I'm a, uh, I'm a dropout, not grass entertainment. But anyway, uh, <laughs> address the situation in the room. For this, we are sorry. This was an opportunity for us to set an example for our guests, viewers, and our academy family around the world. And we fell short. Yes, she did fall short. I'm prepared for the unprecedented. Uh, today, the Board of Governors convened a meeting to discuss how best to respond to Will Smith's actions at the Oscars. In addition to accepting his resignation, the board has decided for a period of 10 years from April 8th, 2022, Mr. Smith shall not be permitted to attend any Academy events or programs in person or virtually, including but not limited to the Academy Awards. We want to express our deep gratitude to Mr. Rock for maintaining his composure under extraordinary circumstances. We also want to thank our host, nominees, presenters, and winners for their poise and grace during our telecast. This action, the action we are taking today in response to Will Smith's behavior is a step toward a larger goal of protecting the safety of our performers and guests and restoring trust in the Academy. Uh, we also hope this can be a time of healing and restoration for all involved in Impacted. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't say anything about them taking his Oscar, um, but I don't think Will Smith will be getting a Oscar anytime soon in the foreseeable future. But uh, as somebody else stated that I, that I heard, he can also still get nominated and still win an Oscar. He just can't beat her physically to accept the oscar you get what i'm saying so um yeah there you have it that's the punishment um I, and why i don't believe they should take his oscar because listen uh whether you agree with his decision to to go up there and assault chris rock chris rock uh whether you agree or disagree uh one thing we all can agree on that his role for his betray his portrayal of uh king what's his name robert williams Right? I don't hope I didn't say that. Uh, Richard, no, King Richard. Sorry. What, what am I talking about Robert Williams for? That's the comedian. <laughs> uh, Richard Williams, uh, <laughs> Venus and Serena's dad, uh, was nothing short of amazing. Uh, I did a review for it. I'll put it at the uh, end of this video. Um, there you can click on it, like right here. It'll be here. And then my new music video, Mom, which should be nominated for a Grammy, which is dedicated in a, a, out to my uh, deceased grandmother, uh, did it in a week. Man, I filmed the video, recorded the song, and mastered everything in a week. And this is the the end result of it. So check that out. You know, shameless plug. But uh, what do you guys feel uh, the Academy should have done? You think they should have done something uh, maybe a little more harsher? You think they should have took it, taken his Oscar? I want you guys to post it in the comments below and let me know what you think. Uh, let's have a discussion down there. And also, 
Um, do you think that this is kind of a slap on the wrist? Do you think this is light? Do you think this is... I don't see what else could they do uh, in terms of um, obviously t falling short of taking his role. What else could they really do? You know, you could ban him for life, uh, but that's not really... That's not really reasonable. Ten years is a long time. You got to think that's a long time. It's going to fly by like this, but it's a long time on paper. Um, and then, I don't know. I, You know what I can say? And I'm ha I know he's happy that he got his he got his statue when he get. Because, listen, as long as I got the fucking Oscar, I don't give a fuck if I don't ever get another one in my life. That's like me winning a Grammy. If I don't ever get another one in my life, I at least got it. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got my gold statue. This is... This is the tier. This is the top tier up here, and I got it. So he he accomplished what he set out to do. You know, I'm sure when he was that kid from on Fresh Prince of Bel Air, uh, just trying to figure things out, he had no idea that he was uh, one day going to win an Oscar, and that he damn sure for didn't think that the day he won an Oscar he would be assaulting uh, Chris Rock. So listen, uh, kudos to the Academy for uh, uh, I guess handling this how they should have because this could have been swept under the rug uh but i believe they had to save face um and they did what they needed to do uh and then i i respect the fact they didn't take his uh oscar uh because i don't think that was warranted and also uh i think that they i think they dropped the ball initially when it happened uh but like a lot of people saying it was staged it was it was meant to trump up ratings it's a possibility. You listen. You don't know what happens with these Illuminati types, man. It's so much that go on behind the scenes. We don't know, but I will say, uh, they should have definitely. I know for a fact. I got a. I got a homeboy that's a grip uh, on these sets, um, and he always tells me is that there's a delay, especially with live TV, because anything can happen. So they they saw when Will Smith was walking up there. They could have cut. Uh, or before the smack got na uh, publicized on national TV, they could have cut it to where we didn't even see it. You know, cut, cut it, cut it off. That's what any regular, uh, any other station would have probably done. But like I said, man, it's, these people be all in cahoots with each other. We don't know. Chris Rock was the sacrificial lamb that night. Uh, and, and Will Smith uh, was a sacrificial lamb as well. You know, maybe this was something part of the Illuminati ritual. Um and they, they both had to sacrifice themselves. So, uh, Will Smith had to sacrifice himself to get the Oscar. And Chris Rock needed ticket sales to skyrocket. So he was the sacrificial lamb for that. I don't know. Don't get me into conspiracy theories. I don't want him taking my channel down for, for me getting into all that. But I'm just saying it's a possibility. We never know. Um, kudos to Chris Rock for, for maintaining his I've never in my life seen somebody get smacked and then just continue hosting <laughs> like nothing happened. That's a, yo, that's a skill in itself, man. It, it then tells a joke about him getting smacked. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Uh, so kudos to that. Uh, but yeah, this is it. Hopefully, and I mean hopefully, I mean this with all my sincerity and heart, we can stop talking about this situation and move on from this. Because at the end of the day, I'm tired of talking about it. I'm tired of I'm tired of situations like this because whether you agree or disagree, right? Which is what life is about. That's the balance of life. Uh, you can agree. You have the right to agree. You have the right to disagree. That's 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 clear cut and dry. But when everything else around it becomes circumstantial and then you start bringing up theories and and uh, well, you know, his wife, blah, blah, blah. And she's been blah, blah, blah. All that is irrelevant to what happened. What happened was this man went on stage and smacked another man. Let's just deal in that absolute right there and there. Let's just talk about that. Not the reason why. Not, uh, you know, some shit that happened years ago. Or not because, not talking about their kids. Like, that has nothing to do with what happened. Like, let's talk about the situation at hand. And that's what I was tired of. Because a situation like this that bring out the worst in people. Uh, and have them spewing all kinds of just dumb rhetoric. You know, somebody was comparing Jaden to Kyle Rittenhouse. Uh, it was like, yo, what the fuck do they got to do with this situation? For one, like, what? It, like, what do you like? Why? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um, that's what I just hope. I hope uh, at the end of the day uh, that we can see the end of is just that shit. Uh, but I want you guys. 
Post your comments below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and the notification bell. As always, peace, love, and prosperity. I go by the name of the Black Abstract. Uh, check my video out right here. It's called Mom. It's going to win a Grammy next year. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> peace.